Welcome back to the Navy Sports Magazine. Time now to get a preview for the Patriot League Basketball Tournament. And for the third consecutive year, the Navy Midshipmen are going to play their first tournament game at home. And better yet, they're going to miss that first round action between the 7, 8, 9, and 10 seeds play as the four seed for the Patriot League Tournament with head coach Ed DeCellis. And let's start there. I mean, last year you got into that four-way math for fourth place. You end up being the seven seed, so you had to play the first round game. This group has really given you some good things this year. And, you know, a couple games in this last four that go their way, the difference maybe they could have finished second sure. and obviously now fourth. But to miss that first round, to get those couple of extra days of rest, how big is that for a basketball team at this time of year? Well, I think it's important because you only have to win three games to win it all, Pete. Obviously, that's uh, that's a, a heck of a lot different than trying to win four games. Sure. So I think that's the biggest thing. I think that the day of preparation is good. Um, you know, you have uh, a few days of preparation time before Thursday, and we're going to use those days wisely. We're going to get some work done, and we're going to get after it pretty hard. But we also, uh, you know, we can rest a little bit and, and um, get our legs back underneath of us, and, and that's and that's important too. How much do you tinker at this time of year? It's the third time you'll play Holy Cross. Obviously not many secrets. Each team has its own philosophy. He's going to stick to it at this time of the year. But how, how much do you tinker to do some things different uh, going into a third matchup? Well, you know, we, I think we are. You know, we, we will tinker a little bit. Um, I think it's important to do that. I think it's important to, you know, sometimes change is hard. But I think that when you watch the tapes and you watch, you know, the things that uh, Holy Cross is doing and watch the things that we are doing, um, you know, I think you're foolish if you don't look to change some things and, and to try to do things differently and to improve yourself. Uh, you don't change to change, but we certainly want to change in a positive way. If we think we can guard something a little easier now that we've seen it twice and uh, maybe we've, you know, we've hadn't had this success guarding a certain action that they run that we want to have. So I think, I think you're wise to change it. Offensively, we're always tinkering with different things, trying to put our guys in a better position offensively to be more successful so you know the tinkering other st never stops and uh, we have, we have uh, some time to do that so we spent uh, you know uh, a good portion of Sunday in the film room and and uh, Monday as well tinkering around and so we'll, we'll try to throw a couple different wrinkles. Do you coach any differently in a winner go home scenario like it is Thursday night during the 40 minutes? Yeah, well, I think there, there's some things. I, you know, I think as a coach, you always have to have a feel for for what's going on on the court. And I, I think foul trouble is one of the biggest issues. You know, how are you going to manage your foul situation? And, and we've had the uh, last three or four games, Sean Anderson's picked up two fouls really early, and mm -hmm. we've tried to manage that. And, and, we'll, and uh, you know, that's a situation where, hey, if we're not playing well and the thing's starting to slip away, we'll throw guys back in there with two fouls in the first half because you can't let the thing, again, especially a team like Holy Cross, get too far down because there are not many possessions the way, they, the way they play. So I think that's a little bit, you know, that's a little bit different. Yeah, and obviously early in the season when you all struggled a little bit offensively, the one thing this team did was play defense. Over the last four games, inexplicably, uh, as you all have broken down the film every game, you know what has caused this sudden uh, rash of defense, yeah. uh, defensive lapses from yeah. this team? Yeah, it's it's very very frustrating. Um, you know, we, we show the kids the mistakes, uh, the simple mistakes that we were not making, we are making now, um, which is frustrating for them and for and for all of us. Um, so we have to get back to who we are, and and so you know, we'll go back to some basics. That this week preparing for Holy Cross, some basic. You know, fundamental basketball defensive drills. Uh, you know, how about jumping to the ball? How about ball pressure? How about getting to the attack side? How about basic stuff that sometimes when you're just preparing for games, sometimes you you know you don't have time to do those because you're trying to manage time right. and guys uh, on their legs that you you, you forego those and just uh, run through the other team's offenses and how we're going to guard them. So uh, you know, back to basics for us, I think is important. Sean Anderson picks up a second team honor this week. Bryce Doolin, uh, the all defensive team. Sure. Uh, thoughts on those two uh, kids earning their awards here for your ball? Well, I think it's outstanding for us. Uh, last year we were fortunate enough to have Will and Tillman Dunbar on the all Patriot League teams. And this year, Sean is on the second team, as you mentioned. And, and Bryce Doolin is an all defensive player, which is tremendous for us. So, you know, we feel very honored to have those, those two guys, um, Sean on the second and Bryce defensive. And, um, you know, it shows I think where program has come in the last, you know, two years. We've got 
you know, three guys in total on the all-conference all, all teams. And then uh, defensive player last year in Will and, and Bryce on the all-defensive team this year. So it's, it's good for our program. When you showed up, you had no senior class. You guys won three games that first year. <laughs> now you're the four seed in the Patriot League tournament. You're literally a blink of an eye from having been the second seed. You know, it's been a lot of progress sure. made here. But And obviously how you do in the postseason magnifies that. Uh, how does this team get it together here for three different games? Because this is a tournament where you're not playing back-to-back -back days. Yeah, right. You good. do have the chance to spread it out. Uh, that that can be good and bad, but but um, you know I, I you know we've tried to talk to our guys and, and uh, I think our guys have, have talked to each other a lot. Our staff is where we're trying to motivate motivate every single day and through individual meetings, through small group meetings, through post meetings, through perimeter meetings. Uh, guest speakers coming to talk to our kids, and um, you know, so we're we're trying everything. I spent an hour on the phone with a sports psychologist on Saturday <laughs> night, uh, not only for for me to keep my sanity, but more important, Pete, for our team. You know, right. what, what do I got to do to help these guys? What, what are those? What are some of the right things to do? Um, talk about some of the issues, and um, so we've we've tried a lot of different a lot of different things, and in the end of the day, I got confidence that my kids are going to step up and make some big shots on Thursday night and, and pass and catch the ball and play some defense like we know how to play and rebound it and have some fun. All right, appreciate the time. Best Thank of luck you. on Thursday. Thank you, Pete. All right, Navy coach Ed DeChalice. Remember, those tickets are available. You can call 1-800-US-4-NAVY or you can order them right away and get them at NavySports.com. That's coach Ed DeChalice on the Navy Sports Magazine.